Today, I'm pumped up because we finally got the full power Frieza. Seems like a lifetime ago that I ordered this thing. I'm excited to check it out and finally get a Frieza to go with that legendary Super Saiyan Goku that came out last year. So let's take a look at this box. It looks like this is the big bulky dude. We get an image of the figure up the front. There's always some nice images on the side and some stuff I'm excited about on the back. It looks like we get a nice power effect, a little disc that he threw and like chased Goku with and was able to control and then forgot about and then cut himself in half. I don't know if you can cut this figure in half. I'm excited to check that out. In order to do that, let's say those two magic words. Oh baby. All right, doesn't look like it worked all the way. You must not be a cheerful power, meaning you're not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Now we can say open, please. Open, All right, looks like it worked that time. We got some extra heads on here, extra hands, an extra face for that Goku. Ready to check that out. If you're wondering, inside the box, we get some instructions on how to switch out the heads and the tail. On this side, it shows us how to change out the legs and stuff. It's the instructions. If you have any SH figure art stuff, it's pretty self-explanatory and plastic's pretty good. It's not going to break apart of you like those Yamaguchi figures. If you know what I'm talking about, watch one of my My Hero videos later. I'm bringing up trauma. Let's look at some joy, which is this figure right here. I'm so excited to get this. When I saw this figure, I could not wait to get it. It's a super buff Frieza, big body, tiny head. If you ever been to a gym and seen that five foot two buff guy, very similar, tiny head, buff body, very short, little man syndrome. Moving on, very veiny chest, nice details and some scuffs on here because in this part of the battle, Goku was kind of getting to him and gave him some time to pump up so he could finally get his full form here. Love the purple on here. Looks like we get some blue shedding on this body. So this freezer will more match that second release of the Frieza figure which had also this blue shading on it. Get a little bit more metallic in the purple versus this earlier release of Frieza which well, I guess this dude kind of had that blue shading on there too, but he's a little bit more white compared to that first one who's a little bit more of like a gringy gray kind of, which matches this body a little bit more. Both of the purples are shiny on the original Frieza fourth form figures, where this one's a little bit more like just plasticky. And I gotta say, I prefer this purple over the shiny purple that was on these other figures, but it's a big upgrade. He not only buffed up, he's about five centimeters higher, which is the wish he wanted to make in that Broly movie. I don't know why he did that. It should have just buffed up to this guy. I, anyways, this dude, much like that Goku figure, has back for days. One thing I just noticed that I'm not a fan of is gonna be this little like imprint on the back of the body here, which I don't know why I need to know that and I don't know why they need to put that on the back. That kind of ruins it, which is okay, but why would they give Frieza a tramp stamp? I mean, I know he's buff, but he doesn't need a prison tattoo. As you can see here, there's a little slot for his tail, which we do get this version of his tail where it's cut off here. Get some articulation on the toe you can kind of move it around there those are some big veins on the phallical piece that's here I for being such a buff figure you get a lot of articulation you get a t legs kick back you get some crunch out of them the joints are tight but like still fluid and foot fell off but snaps right back on. That's how things should work, Yamaguchi. Faceplate on the figure has some great details, very cartoonish, plus it has some extra like indents and muscles and veins and tones on here. You also get this yelling face, nice details on the mouth and the teeth. They really did a good job on the line work on the face and the mouth and like, I feel like SH Figure Arts is really stepping up their game on their faceplates and stuff, especially since there's a bunch of third parties like Tauntan Art Toys and Air and all those other ones. They really make good extra faceplates with like good details I think they're getting the hint and stepping it up. You also get this grinning face, all the same stuff, nice details, good work on it. Then you get this other grinning face plate where he's kind of pissed off, his eyes are a little bit smaller. Always fun to see Frieza pissed off and annoyed. We get these two extra feet that are curled up for like standing on a rock or for like grabbing Goku's head. Speaking of Goku's head, we also get this head that's right here, which will go on that legendary Super Saiyan Goku with him getting punched in the face. Another reason that I think they're paying attention to Tantan Art Toys because Tantan Art Toys has those Vegeta face plates where there's indention in the face, so it looks like he's getting battle damage. Like you can see here with this Vegeta from Tantan Art Toys, they just have a little bit more details, like they have the knuckle imprints and the actual cheekbone. It just looks like it's going in a lot more versus this SH Figure Arts face, which doesn't really have a lot of detail on it. They just kind of closed his eyeball. So I dig that they did that. Could be better, just saying. No pun intended. Saying, you see what I did there? I didn't even try to do that. That was just laying right there. It's kind of layup. We get these karate chopping hands, nice detail. Frieza is a little bit goth, has his nails painted black. We get these two curled up palm hands. You also get two open palm hands and well, actually four open palm hands. These open palms right here have a little peg on the hands. 
because we get those cool effects, which are these discs right here. Pretty cool effects, dark pink in the middle, light pink on the outside, I like the detail and the swirl on it. Looks like a couple of razor blades. I keep these from kids because they can throw them at you or you can cut pizza with them if you're a turtle fan. And I mean, this Frieza looks pretty awesome next to this Goku. Like I thought this Goku was buff. This Frieza just looks way bigger than them. Like those biceps are just way different. Look at those 22 inch pythons as Hulk Hogan would say. I don't know if I can mention Hulk Hogan anymore. 2024 was a weird year, brother. Let's go ahead and switch out that faceplate that came with this Frieza figure, put it on this Goku. Fits on pretty nicely, matches that skin tone very well. Setting up a pretty awesome scene. Now that we got these two figures, we can do some awesome posing together. Really reenact that battle that's just ingrained in our heads from kids. Coming home to watch Dragon Ball Z after school or watching the VHS tape that I set to record so I wouldn't miss an episode. Like I said, this figure was up for pre-order last year. Finally coming out. I don't know if some stores might have it in stock or not. I don't know where you can find it. I'll do some research and if I find something, I'll leave a link in the description. But but it's finally a review that I'm ending happy because I didn't break anything. My past couple of Views, I've just broken something on every single figure. If you want to know what I'm talking about, you can watch all my My Hero Academia figure reviews because I broke a peg on every single one of those. I'm glad to be back reviewing the SH figure art figure where everything's more stable and doesn't just fall apart and break on you. I know there's figures out there that do. And if you're a Frieza fan, you want to watch that first form Frieza review, click this video right here where I teamed up with Nostalgia Unbox to review not only the first form Frieza, but the fourth form Frieza. <sighs> Hold on guys, sorry. Got a little bit of an interruption here. Open please. Hey, what's up buddy? Hey, Eddie, what's up man? Oh, not much. I was doing a review and heard you say the magic words. Yeah, so I have this fourth form freeze. I'm doing a review right now, but I don't have a first form to do a comparison. Could you help me out? That's so weird. I'm doing first form freezer review right now. That's crazy. How about I take it over? Can I do it? Yeah, man. Can I send this to your way? Yeah, pass it up. Here you go. All right, so let's go ahead and do a comparison of this fourth form Frieza with this first form Frieza and get this nostalgia rebox. The side by side comparison really shows the matte finish of this first form Frieza and that purple next to the shiny sheeny paint purple of this Frieza right here. Try to say that three times fast. Shiny sheeny paint, bitch, you can't. Just for comparison of the backsides and the tails, this first form Frieza has a lot of articulation in the tail here with this ball hinge joint. You can really maneuver it, move it around, and you can get some cool dynamic poses with this where this fourth form Frieza, you get no, but these are solid figures I really like. If you want to watch my review of this legendary Super Saiyan Goku, you're going to want to click this video right here. And you might be saying, hey Eddie, why don't you review the second form and the third form Frieza? I got those reviews coming out soon and I got a special upgrade for each one of those. So if you want to see what that is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you guys next time.